Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Portal, the self-build computer novel from 1986, primarily written by Rob Swigert. This is the Amiga version, um, and I guess there's too much, too much that we has elapsed for me to, to really run it down for you, so if you want to uh, know the full story then please do go back and check out the previous streams and videos of this playthrough. Uh, if you have any immediate questions then uh, drop, a, drop a comment below this video and I will do my best to answer it. Um, but I'm going to plunge straight in, or as straight in as I can with this game. Um, so if you joined us last time, you will know that... We unlocked quite a long list of characters' vital statistics. So uh, some somewhat like uh, bad erotic fiction, this, uh, <laughs> this story does like to list the vital statistics of, of every character who appears. Um, so from Jules Sorel to down through this list, um, we now have uh, information to look at for all of these characters. Um, I have contemplated how best to do that. Um, I thought about trying to do a section where we just looked at that, but I don't think that would make for a very good video. So uh, what I determined is that I'll do my usual plan. I'll sweep uh, from left to right top to bottom through these rows of categories, seeing if we've unlocked any other entries that we need to read. Um, and uh, each time we do that sweep, I will also look at the statistics for um, a, a, a new character on the list. So we'll do it that way and kind of integrate it into um, general play. What I suppose, I don't know for certain, is that the um, it's not necessary to look at the character's file statistics to unlock more story. That's what I'm surmising, but that may not be the case. Um, we'll see if we get blocked, I suppose. Okay, anything new in events for us? There is not, okay? Anything new in siling? Homer, could you crack this for us? Ta. No, nothing new there. And then history. Nope. Hang on, did I miss out side tech there? Let me just check quickly. Oh, I must have done. Uh, biodegradable buildings. <laughs> Isn't that what we all need? Okay. I hope we get a nice picture here. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I need to do that, don't I? That. Um, looks kind of like a kind of transport. Oh, home is flashing already. Wow. And all we did was look at biodegradable uh, houses. Okay. Uh, general Science and Technology Information, Current Entry, Biodegradable Temporary Buildings. Intercorp Council proposed development of such buildings in 2032 in order to establish topside quarters for scientific, exploratory or recreational groups. Design limits include a life cycle not to exceed three years, yet maintain comfort levels for humans over the full cycle. Buildings came in three basic forms, rectangular, dome and pyramid and were foam injected with pseudocellulose, guaranteed to crumble during the first major weather event following exploration of life cycle. Temperature range minus 30 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius. That's a good range. Temperature differential is sufficient to maintain internal heat throughout the range. Such buildings may protect up to 30 humans each, including living, sanitation, storage and cooking units. Is that referring to humans as living, sanitation, storage and cooking units? Not quite sure. Right, well, I, I don't know what wonders that's unlocked for us in the, in the main story, but we can, uh, we'll come back to Homer in the fullness of time. Let's just check through the rest of the categories. Okay, let's uh, hack into the military database. While we're here, why not? Nope, nothing, uh, nothing new there. 
All right then, life support. So let's have a crack at Jules Sorel's vital statistics. I mean, unless something particularly strikes out at me, I don't think I'm going to offer much commentary on uh, on these statistics. I'll just um, produce them all on screen briefly um, so that they're there for the record. So this is uh, Jules Sorel, male. Uh, born the 17th of February 1981, uh, died presumably uh, or migrated, whatever happened to, to Jules, um, uh, the 16th of the of June 2029, there you go, I can read dates in that format, here we go, so this is uh, the old blood pressure chart, temperature chart, there we are. Respiratory, etc. Heart and EEG. There we go. Tension. Dramatic tension, right? DNA and hormones. There you go. Neurotransmitters. Mm -hmm. Glycogen. There we go. So that is uh, the old life support. Geography. Anything for us here? I think there will be no. Hoping sometime soon that uh, Peter Devore will unequivocally have got to Antarctica, because that would be nice. Okay, so we're looking at Jules' uh, family history. Here we go. Family tree. I think that's loading in. Is that loading in, or was I a bit too? Quick on the draw there. There we go. Uh, so there's a uh, a Chan branch and the Sorel branch there. And physiology and ESP. There we go. And basic core IQ. There, it's that one. Okay. Uh, psychology. Jules Sorel. Okay. Emotion. And personal growth. For some reason I thought that said personal grooming for a moment. Okay. Basic core IQ, slightly different stats. Or slightly different categories, I suppose I should say. And then we'll go back to the main screen. And central processing. Let's see if there's anything new there. Oh indeed there is. Upload life support file L stroke one three four seven three two four. There you go. Alpha theta tension. Peter Devore. Local monitor readings of life support functioning of subject indicated extreme tension gastrocnemus and associated muscle groups in the lower left leg. Alpha and theta scans show well-coordinated brain hemisphere independent attention. Conclusion indicates micro-level uh, apperception upper, yeah, of meaning nuances in local conversation with DSGAD. Time-relevant information, eyes only, CP extrapolation of local Erebus node LS data. It is known at this time there are no eyes for this message. Parentheses, Homer subbox data transfer comment. End in parentheses, 
central processing AI Geneva noted end upload so these um these records uh, are becoming a little more abstract at least as far as I can understand them so we've got uh, another life support file a stroke four three five one four five. Uh, yep. Mentor aka Ditmore Seminal Gad. Monitor readings of life support functioning reveal serious decay of major systems. Emergency override procedures ineffective. Time relevant information, eyes only, parentheses CP extrapolation of local Erebus node LS data, end parentheses. No more. Right. Okay, I'm not sure what that told us, if anything. Um, but we have read it. So Edmod is another chance to look at more of Jules Sorel's details. So let's get the uh, wait for that to pop in. There we go. Basic core IQ information here. There we go. There's those ones. Uh, logic. There's some logic for you. Some memory. There we go. Social adjustment. There. Yeah. Okay, we that we've completed one person off the list. So that's something. Right, let's see what Homer now has for us. Oh, okay, we've inserted uh, an extra little chunk of story back in block one. Let's see what that is. Regent, Sa <clears throat> Regent Sable did fear though. Perhaps it is fear that explains what he did. He and Aleph and the others. Mind wars swirled around the globe, flaring and dying away, and the world population fell. Not rapidly, but steadily as more and more yams piled up in the hospices and homes and died without a murmur. Doors are opening, connections form. Cytec, history, central processing, clamour for attention. Okay, so I guess that's, that's quite direct, isn't it? Okay, thanks Homer. Um, did we unlock anything else? Apparently so, okay. Another in block two. It was most difficult. Mentor's frail voice, amplified to normal levels, created a statement out of a question. Peter shrugged. He stood, balanced on one bare foot, outlined against the window. Beyond him, dusk was falling again on Antarctica but the air was luminous, the peaks sharply outlined against the strange milky blue of the sky. Five days, I'm told, Mentor continued. You and the others, locked in the cold. Peter could hear an admiring smile in the old man's voice. He turned without putting down his other foot. I didn't notice, he said. Mentor's head dipped. Of course. He said nothing for a time. Peter placed his raised foot slowly beside the other and took a step. I was with her, with Wanda, much of the time, but the others, it's more difficult for them. The cold, the dark, and isolation. I trust him, truly, Mentor said, his phrasing curiously archaic. Yet all I hear. Peter nodded. Except Scotty. Yes, except Scotty. Some fall by the wayside. He didn't fall. It was an accident. He got in the way of a weapon. Mentor shook his head in denial, a slow, deliberate and careful movement. He panicked. There's a difference, Peter. He fell. That's not so bad, to fall. Some have thought it a pleasant experience, to yield to gravity, let loose in the universe without chains. Falling is not so bad. Falling can't hurt you, but now landing, that's a different matter. Peter smiled. One of the famous aphorisms. Ah, an old saying. He dismissed it. Landings are hard unless you know how. Oh, landings are hard unless you know how. 
you were five days in the agony without ward, food or warmth. That was a fail, a fall. Sit down. Good. You're not what I expected. Is that good too? You are older, tougher. That's good. What lies ahead will be difficult. It will make being locked in the methane a picnic. Tell me. Restructuring first. You must adapt. An experience which I have not had. Being too old for such things is important. It's painful, but it shows the way. Changing the body also changes the mind. After all, mind is a local phenomenon. And, Peter quoted, Matter is the pattern mind makes. Go on. Mentor applauded briefly. Good. Good. The brain is the bed. Mind is the sleeper. It is time to wake up, Peter. That will be your task. Peter shook his head. I'm interested in the problem, he said carefully. The equations, the possibilities. I would like to free wonder, but some things are not possible. Is there a technology that could give us the power, the energy necessary? No such technology exists. No such technology is visible or possible with what we know. Massive effort, a project? I don't think so. The problem is abstract. Yes, Mentor replied. And no. This must be done. You know it must, even while you deny. The mind wars are just another symptom, because people still believe the mind is a thing to be destroyed if it interferes. Humankind is ruled by its metaphors, Peter, always ruled by images. Mind, consciousness, awareness, spirit, thought, perception, feeling, memory, imagination, and intention. These are the fragments that delude us. As a species, as a spark in the universe, we are dying, even as I am dying. No one, when I was young, could have known we were so close to the end. You must see what I can see. We must change, all of us. We must break out of the chrysalis. We must awaken. I have said it often. Brain is the bed. Mind, the sleeper. Whatever it takes, the sleeper must wake up. Yet it doesn't seem possible. The equations are clear, on that point at least. There is enough power in the solar system to drive such a change. It takes too much energy to wake up, Mentor. Then perhaps we must look elsewhere. If we don't find a way out, then in fifty years there will be no human beings left. We have entered an evolutionary cul-de-sac, Peter. A dead end. We must tunnel through. That was an old quantum effect, a trick of probability, to be suddenly somewhere else without spending the energy to get there. That is what we all must do, make a quantum leap. Already you do it with this wonder. You must lead. But you discovered the equations, Peter protested. You have the vision, the wisdom. I'm too old, Mentor said, and there was anger in his voice. No more. Whew, that was a that was quite a long extract. Okay, I wonder if that does that freed anything else or we Nope, that's it for now. So we'll do another another run through. Med ten. Okay, uh, nothing there. Silink. Nothing there. We should hopefully be onto something with SciTech. Oh, absolutely, Scion Equations and Salt Cycle Transport. Okay, we're starting with Scion Equations. Okay, SciTech DB, General Science and Technology Information. Current entry, Scion Equations, Devore Correlates. S parentheses org, 
uh, divided by 8 times 8, parentheses, rad, parentheses, 0.0076k, parentheses, parentheses, L transform uh, minus uh, PS divided by K parentheses I asterisk no uh, multiplied by T equals Q parentheses base minus four end parentheses. Peter's note stroke zero one zero four two zero eight three. Time effects not proven. That was very helpful. Thank you, Cytec. Top cycle transport. Standard SC troop transports maintained a civil water range uh, under 16k kilometers, including ascent angle. Salt cycle technology, while technically superseded by compact fusion drivers (parentheses CFD), had not in reality been replaced by 2090. Okay. Lovely. Okay, that was that. Um, not sure what tangent that will lead us off on. Let's see what's in history. Children's games. That's curious, isn't it? Here we go. What if there's an illustration for this? I'm curious to find out. No, just a data crystal failure. Children's Games. By the mid-2070s, the children's game of ants and ENCs had spread worldwide. Folklorists and social cartographers delineate its origins in versions of cowboys and Indians and cops and robbers. ENCs were, of course, the forces of good and stability, while the ants were forces of disruption and chaos. The game was carefully designed to reinforce the then current program of anti ant sentiment as part of the plan to prevent the spread of prescribed psychic technology. The game involves singing the song, The Ants Are Coming, while scuffling in a daisy chain circle around a symbolic pole. Later iterations included simulated Antarctic expeditionary force landings and clearing of ant warrens. Okay. Um, was that, that was it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, military. I don't think we're going to get anything in military this time, are we? Um, we will need to hack in first. Alright, hacked in, but nothing there for us. Life support then. Let's take on, um... The next in the list, who is James Rakin? James Rakin, male, uh, born 19th of June 2055 in Chicago. Um, no date of death. This is the blood pressure, blood pressure chart. This is the temperature chart. This is the respiratory chart. This is the heart and EEG. There we go. This is the tension. This is the DNA and hormones chart. This is about neurotransmitters. There you go. And this is glycogen. There. Wonderful. Okay. Let's have a look in geography. Okay, nothing there. What's that? Um, James Rakin, please. Let's have a look at James Rakin's family tree. 
Okay, there is uh, the Arakan branch there, and the Gonzalez branch there. Delightful. Uh, there's Physiology and ESP to look at. There we go. There is Basic Core IQ. There we have it. So then we'll go back to the main menu. Psychology. James Rakin. Emotion. Okay. Personal grooming. Personal growth, obviously. Uh, there. And then basic core IQ, slightly different uh, elements, criteria. And then we'll go back to the main menu. Central processing. So I think this was where something was supposed to pop up as well, I believe. Yep, uh, AEF command ref 4386156 dash a7 do we get a picture for this one we do it's a little picture of the the world um and it looks like there's a dome and a line towards south america and central europe that's what it looks like to me anyway satlink aaf commands falklands via geosync relay lrl 283 full hollow projection and voice with datacom channel 18 gigabit per second exchange include a direct plug central processing ai geneva with military on standby call initiated by hajam ras intercorp councilman yev Pator pataria council resort okay uh right and is that is that it Okay, that was it. Uh, I think that's all the information we needed. Hopefully. I hope it's not flashing at us, which is uh, interesting. So we'll see what's there. But first of all, we need to head through Edmod and have a look at James Rakin's educational evaluation as soon as we're able. Uh, logic there. There we go. That's the uh, logic. Um, assessment that we have there, and then some other basic core IQ categories as shown there. The memory assessment is thus described, and the social adjustment appears like this. There we go. We'll go back to the main menu. And then hope that Homer has um, so a few more tidbits to throw us in the way of prose. Indeed, there's another section one. They underwent the restructuring. The first part was easy. DNA analysis of each individual Gene coding and sequencing, enzyme proportion and temporal flux, cell balance, systems analysis of all electrolyte and endocrine synthesis and breakdown over time, they were all of them strapped with monitors, evaluators, sensors. Blood was withdrawn and reintroduced into their bodies. Probes were installed in every orifice and niche and left in place. Chemosensors and retinal scanners sniffed and flashed at unpredictable intervals. The process was uncomfortable and unnerving, but not painful. Not yet. Yet all this time, Psyche was a hive, and busy. The team went to work translating the equations Peter had developed into a technology. The tanks of Antarctica's Pico Electronics industry grew prototype after prototype of amplifiers, modulators, transformers for dream space for empathy, for the subtle fusion of daydream and fantasy between two people. Geography has stored the schematics for Psyche. So I'm just really not messing around with telling you where to go next. Okay, and we've got another uh, 
section of narrative for the second section. So let's have a look at this. A vicious wind was singing around the building's pre-stressed corners, clawing dust and dry snow off the track in front of the headquarters building. It hummed in the walls. The doors crashed abruptly open and Sergeant Hoskins came in. Regent's all-weather jacket fluttered on its peg. Dust and snow swirled into the room. It's a bit out there, sir. Hoskins leaned back against the door, then shrugged out of his own jacket and hung it up. You think they design a door that closed by itself instead of fighting you like that? Sable said nothing. The kids are out there singing, Hoskins went on. He unstrapped his NP weapon and laid it carefully in the rack. They think it's some kind of joke. No joke, Hoskins, Sable said. It's for real. Yes, sir, listen to him though. A surface playground next door was half full of kids who seemed to enjoy the weather. Their blonde hair tossed in the gale. Their cheeks were ruddy and they marched in single file, bent double, hands on the waist of the one in front, like a many-legged insect as they marched in a curious shuffling step. Regent watched through the electrostatically clean window field. Then he switched it into transmit sound mode and, and listened to the song. The ants are coming one by one. Aru, aru. Their piping voices came through, modulated and cleaned of background noise by the field. The dance moved into a circle, simulating the pole, its vortex of wind and current. He watched hysteria mount and thought that children were singing all over the world, voices united in song, all the same song. We had to come in one by one, haru, haru, forth to the north to steal some sun, and they'll all go crawling back to the pole again. The ants are coming two by two, aru, aru. The ants are coming two by two, aru, aru. The ants are coming two by two for the thrill of our krill to put in the stew, and they'll all go crawling back to the fold again. The ants are coming three by three, aru, aru. The ants are coming three by three, aru, aru. The ants are coming three by three. Screams in our dreams will be the fee, and they'll all go crawling back to the pole again. He switched the sound off. Yes, he said, but he spoke grimly, as if the fact did not please him. They are singing. A hollow annunciator appeared beside Regent's desk. Councilman Hajam online, sir, a disembodied voice said. Pipe him through. Hajam appeared in front of the desk. He was wearing a swimsuit of silver hydrophobic material. Behind him the black sea stirred restlessly under a late afternoon sun. Hello, Protector, he said, and without pause went on. Intelligence is in, such as it is. There is no evidence, repeat, no evidence of ant preparations. You don't look pleased, Protector. Do you not find that strange, Raz? They know what's happening in the world. Aleph has implemented a campaign now visible and audible anywhere. Anti-ant sentiment is about to reach a cusp. We've had technicians working on this project for a year now. They should be bracing for our move. The ants are doing nothing. There must be a reason. I suspect, Region, that they are smug. They feel they have climate and geography on their side. They are too individualistic to do anything coordinated and too proud to feel we are a threat. For all we are the rest for all we are all that we are the rest of the globe. Raz waved his hand negligently, indicating the beach, the dark water, the warmth. The rest of the globe, he repeated. I don't like it. They're too smart for that. Raz smiled. You are, I overestimate them, Protector. In six weeks you'll be back here enjoying all this, and the overall effects are better than anticipated. Mind war activity is at a new low. Only four significant skirmishes in the past week, all in Central Africa. The world is coming together again, Protector. All goes according to plan. You fret too much. Perhaps, Regent paused and looked at Hoskins. Secure this line, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Hoskins left to monitor the links personally, and Regent turned back to her jam. What about transport? 
Ballistic salt cycle transports will arrive on schedule. We'll fool them, Protector. Coming in like this over the pole, it'll be I'll be it'll be dark, and they'll be deep in the ice by then. Their own facility at McMurdo will be nearly deserted. Fifteen thousand ENC troopers landing from the south should they take the complex, Psyche included, in a matter of hours. They don't suspect a thing. Regent repeated those words after he terminated the call, but with considerably less conviction than her jam. Well, that was uh, that was an exciting passage to read. I wonder. Oh, okay, we've got a new segment coming here. Let's see what this is about. Peter Devore, who had taught others patience, doubted his own. He and Wanda created their own world out of shared dreams. As Mentor has said, The sleeper dreams the universe. What will happen when he awakes? Why did I make that association? Peter and Wanda shared dreams. A Mentor who suffered, how he suffered, from genetic drift syndrome, see Med 10, made a statement. There is no connection, yet it feels right. I do not know. Okay, Homer. We're, uh, we're making connections. So I think that's as much as Homer's going to give us right now. Let's just check. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Well, in that case, I think I will end the episode here. Uh, I will save it. And we know we've got a couple of places to look for next time. There we go. Storing data. Lovely. Um, um, uh, plenty more characters, statistics to work through. So we'll we'll carry on that way, uh, much like I've said in in previous episodes of this. I um, I've got no idea really of how much longer this will go on. I feel like it's coming to a head, but then I have felt that before. So we'll we'll just take it at the same kind of pace and uh, and um, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope uh, you're enjoying this continued uh, playthrough performance. I suppose to some extent of uh, of the game. And um, I hope you'll join me next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.